Parkour. 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 Eat. Parkour. 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 Cheaty parkour. Jump. 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 Parkour. Jump. Jump. Hello, and welcome to the next episode on the Cornerstone SMP server today. And don't you just love this view from up here? It's starting to get filled out. I love this. But today we are going to do something a little bit different. And this hill right here, let's prop ourselves up here. So on this hill right here, I want to do a house and I saw a picture and basically a tree was going right through the middle and out the roof. It was basically kind of a a tree that had split in the middle and two things were going out the roof. It was it was kind of cool and I think I'm going to put that here. I'm trying to figure out kind of what style. The house obviously, since there was a tree growing through, it was an old one. So I think that kind of fits maybe something like this, but it's going to be wider, wider than this house here. So yeah, I think I'm going to do something up here. And then also let's get up, you know, just go straight up in the air. You'll see right there, right there, and right there, we have some orange posts. I'm debating on doing a mountain. So basically this one would come up to right behind this house here, and let's just prop ourselves here so I can point out a little bit. Yeah, this one's gonna be a difficult. Uh, there's gonna be a lot going on here. There's actually needs to be a river or a lake in this area, so I don't know about this one. But you can kind of see here and here. So this hill would come down to about here, leaving enough room for the house that's going to be on that plateau. And then this one will curve down, and then you see this dot of yellow. There's going to be a river going through there to feed this lake. And then obviously you can kind of see we're probably going to dump it into this river here. So yeah, this is going to be a really cool, um, and this will be probably a steep ravine. I'll be able to probably... Debating on how tall I want these things. Obviously, I want to be able to get them done. And this one here is about the same level. So yeah, anyways. So yeah, so let's go back to the house. So I've kind of got a set up here so that we can do the house. And just give you an idea. If we're coming back from the path here, kind of leading in front of the weaponsmith. I wanted to make this so overgrown, like people haven't bound down this path in so long that it's overgrown. And I think I accomplished that quite well. I am loving how this is turning out. And then if you look at the wall, the wall's kind of fallen over. The path's overgrown. And then coincidentally, I did the uh, this house layout first and kind of I wanted to push it off of this side a little bit and I did the path afterwards and guess what? I ended up absolutely in the most perfect spot in the world. So let's take a look here. So what I've got is these will be the corners here. And I don't know if I want to go that far back. That may actually be too wide, but I'll give you just the general idea. So anyways, the, the front's going to be here. I wanted to do a double door, but I think what I'm going to do is a single door with like trap doors on the outside to make it look like it has a grand entrance. And then each side is going to have a single window. So one, two, three, four, five on each side. And this area is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, yeah. But I want the, um, if you're standing from this side, I want the roof to be peaked this way. And that's why I'm thinking that this needs to be actually closer here. And then if you're staring at the front of this, there's going to be three gables and gable is kind of a peak on the roof. So this is going to be two stories. So there'll be a, a, a gable there, a gable there. And the reason why this front area is bigger is there's going to be a bigger gable in the front. Haven't done that 
style, or have we? Let's take Gander over here. Cable, right there. Just to give you an idea of what kind of it is. I knew we had one around here somewhere. So this is kind of the idea of what I'm going to do with Gable. So if you're looking at that house over there, so the middle one will actually be bigger and then these two on the outside will be roughly this size on each side. And then the, the roof is going to be pitched sideways like this. So I think that's going to be really cool. And it is going to be run down basically like this path and this wall. And this is kind of the first time I've ever done a ruined building. It's actually going to be super fun. It's kind of a little bit intimidating getting into it. I kind of just had to get the idea first. But the funny thing is the picture that I'm going off of, the people actually built the house over two trees. So if you see these uh, gray things, I'm kind of thinking like these would be the two trees. But they actually built the house on stilts. So if you can imagine the first story was completely blank and they had put the front porch over the trees and then, of course, the trees completely overgrew and just took overtook the house. It was kind of a hilarious photo, but yeah. So let me kind of get a general layout here. I think what we're going to do is just build the house first, and then we're going to have to wreck it afterwards. And I am when I mean wrecked, I want it to be just crumbling. Yeah, this is going to be fun. No, 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 no. This is way too pretty. Look at this palette. I like this palette. This is going to be run down. It needs to be like dark and dingy and nasty and this is pretty. Okay, I'm going to save this color palette. And the funny thing is, is I've been looking for something to do to kind of complement the horse stables over here because it's nice and clean looking. Guess what? I think I found the color palette for the person that owns this. So what I want to do, and this is being way sidetracked, but oh well, is back here I want to put the wheat fields back in. Because obviously we need hay for the horse, but I also want to do, I don't really want to say mansion, that's pretty big, but I want to put a nice big house that this person lives in. I don't know, I haven't quite figured it out, but over here, but it's going to be that color palette. Yes, yes, yes. All right, so let me tear this down and redo it. But here, just to give you a general idea now that I have it in my head. Proper cells right here. So the bottom is going to be the stone and the top is going to be wood because I need the half slabs and I need the stairs to be able to just ruin this thing up. I can't go with anything that's full blocks because it can be really hard to make it look ruined. So. This belongs over there. But for now, let me make something different. All right, I got a general shape going on this house. I'm not detailing it out because we're going to go ahead and just ruin it. But this is a really cool shaped house that we're just going to go destroy. <laughs> uh, I will probably make this at some other time. But I like, I like those three peaks in the roof. So the, the front, the wide one here is just one block out. Let's go take a look at the back side. Now this front side has the porch, so it looks proportional. The back doesn't look proportional, but like I said, we're gonna pretty much destroy it. And I just went with all cracked here. We're gonna mess it up and put cobble in it and you know wreck all sorts of stuff. So I'm not gonna detail it out. But here is the general shape. So the side roof, Actually, there's a good position we can get here. Yeah, good enough. Yeah, so anyways, you got one roof that just goes straight across from, you know, left to right. And then a smaller one, and then a bigger one that just pokes out one, and then the other side's just the same. Yeah, I like this sh this roof shape. I'm gonna have to try it out sometime. But yeah, I haven't really done anything interior-wise, but the idea is, is I think there's gonna be a tree from here. And I think I want another one I put here. Let's see, I did put them both off to the right-hand side, so maybe I'll switch this one over to the right side. Let's do that right now before I forget. Let's 
Yeah, so the idea is, is that this is going to grow out. I'm probably going to have branches, you know, crashing through the windows and maybe even poking through the, uh, the wood and definitely want it coming out of the roof. And then this one here basically is growing, like it's grew out of the porch and we'll just kind of grow that one off the side. I thought about doing a third one, but let's go back. If I can even <laughs> get a raw get lit off. So I'm kind of thinking about the tree coming right through that portion of the roof. Not the top, but kind of where it slants in the uh, light brown area. And then, of course, branch coming that way, branch coming that way. I think the one thing that I got to watch out for is that we don't put too many leaves close to the house. Otherwise, you won't really be able to see what's going on. But I like this house up on the hill. It just looks it looks cool. Yeah, I'm going to actually have to try that house uh, some other time. Uh, but we'll take one more kind of aerial view here. Actually, in case you want to do it for yourself, let's take a look at the, the roof below real quick. So since this one pops out one, just kind of brought it down and then started this one. Let's see, that one's an upside down, so I started it one up from, you know, basically where that one is. And then just kind of connected them all into a plus. Yeah, so this is the part that's going to be the interesting one, is trying to get this thing completely wrecked. So I think what I'm going to start off with is trying to get the general idea of where, you know, the, the tree is. The one problem that I think I'm going to run into is that all these trees that I tried to make big aren't going to be big by the time I get this one. So I'd probably need to try to keep it low. I think that will be good. But anyways, yeah, let me get to kind of wrecking this thing up. I absolutely love how this came out. My only major complaint is that the trees look the same as the wood siding, so there's not very much contrast there. And when Mr. Hicks came through here and played the game, he actually said acacia. So that would give us the nice gray for the trunk and then bright orange for the limbs. And that would actually probably work out perfect. Because right now you can't really tell that this tree isn't poking through, but it's poking through that window right there. This one, I mean, you can kind of get the general idea, but I, I love it. So if you're going to do it for yourself, think about contrasting. And obviously for the um, the house, I wanted to stick with the wood and the uh, cobble so I could actually break it up and use stairs and half slabs. And I said that earlier, but yeah. So if you're going to do this for yourself, think about contrasts. And I love how this path came through nice and overgrown. Yeah, this came out amazing. Yeah, so as you kind of approach it, you kind of get the general idea. And I put string underneath a lot of these vines because I didn't want them all at the ground, but I wanted enough that it looked like, you know, it's been here for a while. I love it. And then broke up the deck, and then obviously we just wrecked the outside as much as possible. The one thing I noticed is when I was doing this is that if I put the cobble in some of the areas that were broken and then make it look like something's kind of fallen off, that that looks really good. Some spots I use the wall and then some spots just to make some holes in different spots did that. Like in here, there's a cobble up there, but then uh, put a, uh, a, a wall there. Yeah, I like how this actually came out. Didn't do a whole lot on this backside, kind of just put a lot of vines in the area. And then for this tree right here, it's coming out of this window, this window, kind of a uh, poke through. I wouldn't even say a window area on the second story here, but close to it. And then obviously the top. Let's take a look at some of the courses that, or starting points that I actually created. And there's probably a lot more, but so basically this was the original one. And I had no intention on making this a parkour course, but it 
just happened. Let's see if I can actually do this all the way through. Yep, that's good. So another one was over here, and this one's really difficult because you gotta kind of go wrap around as you're jumping and catch that ladder. So another one, probably the easiest route to get up is from here. Probably go over here and then onto these guys, and then you can kind of get to the same window as the one starting out there. So you could probably fly over to this one and come up here. And you can't make it to there because I think that's too tall. You can definitely go up there. Another starting point is here, and I think this is probably the easiest out of all of them. And then you go in here. You could probably make it to there, or I put this here so you can make it. So once you get to this point, which is kind of a, where you end up with a lot of the different ones, with the exception of the one that outside, you would actually end up kind of where you're going here. So you could start from here and you could fly over to that spot. I put another one so you can actually go over here. But pretty much every single one of these routes ends up in this area so that you can actually get up and go to the roof here. And then once you're up on the roof, it's pretty easy. The highest point is going to be this one here. Ta-da! And we're done. Anyways, I had fun putting this together. And there's some other quicker routes. Um, obviously, you could probably take this vine straight up to get up to the top here. Um, I originally didn't intend on doing these vines all the way down, but... For the look, it looks great. So anyways, I think I'm going to wrap it up here. I had super amount of fun putting this together. First time kind of wrecking something and first time for a parkour course, which I didn't intend on doing it, but it just happened. And like I said, I, I would, if I were to change anything, I would change the trees out to something different so it actually contrasts a little bit. So right now they kind of blend in, it's a little hard to see, but the concept is still amazing. So anyways, if you're not subscribed yet, I'd greatly appreciate it. And if you enjoyed this content, hit that like button. Until next time, see ya!